unmute yourself unmute yourself please oh okay <laughs> yes. sorry thank you that's nice welcome okay, you can sorry. start now okay hello everyone um we met a few weeks ago when i was introduced to the group um by uh, neha and um uh i've decided to, because i want to help people uh with uh, mental health and chronic pain issues um I decided to to join this uh, community. Um, actually, Neha helped me to join, and I'm glad to be here again. Um, so let me introduce myself one more time. Uh, can everybody hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Carry on. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so uh, my name is Adrian, um, and I've been a massage therapist and reflexologist for uh, about 16 years. And also I'm a yoga, meditation, qigong, and martial arts practitioner. Um, over the years, I studied various uh, massage styles such as Swedish deep tissue, um, Thai massage, Thai yoga massage, Chinese uh, Tuina massage, Hawaiian massage, reflexology, um, uh, pregnancy and labor, lymphatic drainage, gel massage. Um, also being uh, very passionate about this, uh, uh, job. I've studied uh, other massage types, amongst them, uh, amongst them, um, Indian massage, um, Japanese, and bamboo sticks being some of my favorite. Um, my style uh, is a is a blend of uh, west, uh, Western, mostly Eastern techniques. And it's a very holistic one. Um, it's meant to help not just the body, the physical body, but the emotional and uh, mental uh, bodies as well. Um, which is why I think uh, it could be useful for um, people with mental health problems and also chronic pain issues um, and um, uh, today um, I'm going to show you some of my uh, uh, some some qigong uh, self massage and uh, also very light martial arts uh, techniques that which can be done individually as well individually uh, that will help you um, ease the pain um, and also uh, you can you will feel more relaxed and uh, also energized and connected to your whole beings um, as as you probably already know um, to have a good uh, uh, health, we um, we need energy. Eh? So, if energy is blocked or is not flowing properly, we are we we might feel tired, depressed. Uh, we might suffer from different health conditions um physical pain uh, anxiety depression and so on so uh, i don't know if uh, any of you knows exactly what qigong means 
Qigong means. Uh, so I'm gonna explain in a few words. Um, it's an ancient Chinese practice, uh, in mostly working internally. So it's meant to balance the whole body, mind and soul with um, very light movements um, and breathing techniques, uh, which will um, loosen the whole body and um, also will uh, energize uh, the, the whole being and um, it can be done by everyone with uh, different medical conditions. There are um, no, almost no contraindications for this uh, ancient practice. Um, and yeah. Also, uh, it's important to when we have pain to it's it's uh, uh, to to the to uh, give us a little bit self massage or if you can reach a professional therapist to give you. A, uh, good professional massage uh, and also massage is, has uh, very few contraindications. Um, so um, for, um, for most of you, uh, I think uh, it can be a good uh, exercise. And uh, uh, yeah, I hope you will uh, you will enjoy it. So um, I would like to to in, to start with a little bit self massage and also um, a few included in this uh, bit a few uh, acupressure and reflexology. Uh, techniques. Um, and um, then we will, uh, when the body is a little bit warm up, warmed up, um, we'll continue with some uh, light qigong movements and finish with a few uh, martial arts. Um, techniques that uh, it's meant to uh, uh, to um, amplify the the results and the benefits of all that I will show you. Uh, and like I said, everything that I will show you is uh, is uh, is um, are, are very simple uh, exercises that can be done by everyone, um, unless you have some uh, shoulder uh, surgery or back surgery or some knee surgery. Like uh, it can be a little bit difficult, but um, yeah, let's see how how it goes. So um, if anyone have any questions before we, we can start. Hello. I think, I think you start, we'll take questions later. Yeah, okay. Okay, we'll sure. With the, yes, thank you. Okay, so um, we can start uh, one second. Just let me. Let's 
So I'm gonna set uh, my my phone out. So I hope everyone can see me. Uh, can you see me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can see you. Okay. So, um, for uh, for those of you who cannot stand, uh, these uh, techniques can be done, uh, some of, not all of them. Uh, uh, even if you uh, sit on a chair. So, uh, okay, let's get started then. So we're gonna start with a self massage. This is a Taui of natural uh, ancient Taui to do it, especially in the morning for starting the day with positive energy. Uh, good vibes. So we're gonna start with massaging the face. First, we stretch the forehead, then gentle the eyes. You can very gentle, then the face. Can anyone see? What I'm doing? We can see, but your sound is not clear. The sound. Okay, that is that's why I was. Let me see. Ah, that's better. When you are near, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me. Okay, is that better now? Yes, that's better. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So, like I said, start uh, now gently massage the face. Uh, from the base up to the between the eyebrows. So the index or middle finger. Then we start with a little pressure. Can you follow me? Hello? Yes, the sound sound is again not. It's not good. Okay, you are a bit too far away. That's why. Yeah, if if you are if you are halfway near, it's better. Or if you sit down and come nearer. Okay, let's try. Let's try. Oh. Yes, that's good. Okay. Yes. Yes, so we, that's better. We can do it on the chair. Yes. So yes, perfect, yes. Perfect sound now. Perfect sound. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Yeah. Carry on. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So we first, like I said, we gentle start, start uh, around the nose, up to the up to the eyebrow. So we stop between the eyebrows. We go back and forward. Do that. 
Yeah, then we must not around the lips, the mouth. Yeah. It's a, it's like a stretch. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, good. Okay, then we go with this movement. Your turn. Okay, then we can do also circular movements. Then we go around the ears. Yeah. Very gentle, yeah. We can, we massage the ears like with a little bit circle from up to the, uh, to the lobe. Yeah. And when we, we come to the lobe, we gently pull the lobe, yeah? And then we stretch the ear a little bit. Yeah, up, middle, and the lobe again. Yeah? Then we massage the head, starting from the temple, like circular move. Everyone can do it in their own way. Yeah? Then we go to the, uh, Upper, so the, the crown, yeah. Then we massage. I don't know you can see. So occipital area. Can you see? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Then the occipital. Uh, Slowly, yeah? uh, not press too much. Then press two. And then we came to the neck, yeah? Pull the skin down. Press down. Then for for those of you who cannot do it like this, yeah, you can do it with one hand. So we take the top. Yeah, then, but with a little bit of breath, yeah, very gentle. Also, yeah, can you see? Can you hear? We can see. Yes, yes. Yeah, and here we can go it shoulder. Yeah. Or for closer for uh closer to the and go Turn over. So we we are here on the shoulder area, yeah. So we squeeze the muscle. It's like kneading, yeah. Then we came to the joint, the shoulder, yeah. Gently rub the shoulder, the, the joint here around it, yeah? and the deltoid muscle. Can you see? Yes. And the uh, arm, there's a pressure point here. It can be painful, so we don't want to we don't want to go into too much pain. We want to release the pain, to ease the pain. Yeah. So we rub gently. Then I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. So yes, everyone can. can yes. Everyone can do it in their own way. Yeah. Then we came to the hands between the tendons. Yeah. We pull the fingers gently for those who have uh, arthritis. Yeah. Uh, we you just gentle stretch, gentle stretch. You don't need to pull it. You pull that. And we came to an important pressure point between the 
the, uh, the thumb, yeah, and the index. Yeah, we press just between in the middle, yeah, a few times, or we can pull, we can do a movement like this, pulling the skin, yeah, the same, the other, both sides. Then we have a few pressure points here in the, uh, Middle reflexology point is a kidney. It can be painful, so pressing a few times for pressing a circular one. Yeah. Then we have the shoulder here, just uh, below the small finger. There's a joint here. Yeah. And then we have the spleen here. It's important for, uh, for tiredness, especially you know, uh, people with uh, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome have sleep problems. Yeah. So the spleen is just below the line? It's just below the line here. It's uh, in between the uh, little finger and. Yeah, so here is the shoulder uh, okay. reflexology point, and just below, yeah. So if below the line it, is a spleen, and above the line is shoulder. Above the line is shoulder, yeah, and below Very the good. line is actually in the middle uh, between the shoulder. In the middle, there's a line here. Yeah? Yes, yes. This line, yeah. So yeah, it's that's just, better. That's better. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. So it's just it's not below here. It's just in the in the middle, yeah. So it, yeah. it can, yeah. So we yes. gently massage outwards, yeah. Okay. Then one more point is between the uh, middle finger and the uh, the ring finger here. It's the solar plexum, yeah? I don't know if anyone can see it. Where we store a lot of emotion, yeah? There's a lot, there's a very emotional area here. Yeah? Yes. Can, can anyone see? Yes, we can see, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so we press, we can press a few times. Then, or we can press and rotate outward. And then massage the hand a little bit. Muscles. Then we continue with uh, the inner part of the arm. Yeah, so we squeeze the muscles. And we came here. We have the, the pecs here. There's a pressure point here as well. I don't know if you can see, so we can just uh, squeeze it a little bit. There's just this area, yeah? Then uh, for ladies, uh, we go underneath the breast. So we, there's a muscle here. There. Yeah, you can feel it, yeah? So we squeeze. And we stop at the iliac bone here. Yeah, at the uh, pelvic, at the, the lower upper neck here. Yeah. Can you can you see? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. So we move to we move on to the other shoulder. We do the same. Yeah. Squeeze the trapezium here. A few times, then we move to the joint, massage a little bit, then squeeze the delta here, then the arm, again pressure point here. We can 
have to press too hard, just a little bit to activate the, the point. Then we go to the forearm, yeah. Then between tender. Tendon, yeah. Then again, the pressure point between the this pressure point uh, is one of the main pressure points. It's good for headaches, for toothaches, for uh, increasing immunity, for cold, and so on. Yeah, more than flu. So we press or we can squeeze, we can uh, pull the skin. Yeah. It's very good for, uh, for example, I'm doing it and I feel I have a good feeling, you know, I feel more uh, relaxed. Okay, and now we move to the palm again. It's the shoulder here, just below the small finger, there's a joint here. That's a flexological point for the shoulder. Then below it's the liver. Yeah, so below the line now, we are below. Yeah. Can you hear? This is the, this is the right hand. This is the right hand. So we okay, start on the right the... hand. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we the, we have the liver here. Yeah. Yes. The liver, it's uh, it's related to its uh, emotion, its anger. Yeah. The negative emotion. It's not a lot of anger. So we press a few times or press and rotate outward. Okay, then in the center of the palm is the kidney again. Okay. We press a few times and then or press and rotate upward. Then Above it's the solar plexus above the kidney, the solar plexus, yeah. Same. Any questions so far? If it is painting, do we continue pressing? Say again. If there is, if there is pain, yeah. When you press it, if there is pain, do you keep continue to press? Yeah, this, this is um yeah, we press gently, not uh, to not to uh, increase the pain. Yeah, so we press gently until uh, we we feel uh, like uh, if we continue, if we insist, the pain will eventually go. On. But it's more complicated. It's not gonna. It's just a reflexology point. Yeah. Okay. So if, if the uh, for example, we need to treat the organ as well for liver, for example. It's not gonna, we are, we are not gonna treat a cure like hepatitis, hepatitis or, you know, a liver, a serious liver problem, yeah? But it can help. Uh, this is a, the, uh, an alternative, uh, treatment is not gonna uh, is not meant to substitute a medical uh, the uh, medical treatment yeah yes it's just uh, it's just meant to uh, to be an alternative method that can help uh, to ease the, the pain and uh, improve our health, our, uh, the bodily, the body uh, function, the organ functions, yeah, function, the organs. Okay, so there's more to tell, definitely.
but uh, uh, yeah, uh, it's a little bit complicated to explain how if someone, uh, if some of you or I don't know, knows how reflexology uh, works. Yeah, I will. Uh, I will carry on. If not, no, you probably you, know. Yeah, no, you, you carry on showing us what to do. Yes. Okay. 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 So we came here. We go the, to the inner arm, the forearm. We squeeze, massage the muscle. Yeah, back and forward. Then. The arm, bicep, and the shoulder again, and here uh, again the pressure point, bigger point actually, and the press. Just I don't know if you can. There's a tendon here as well. Can feel it, and we have here. Effects, yeah, we squeeze this muscle. Yeah, then we go below the the, the breath there, yeah. Squeeze the and down to the uh, the iliac bone here. Yeah. Okay, then we come back and massage the neck with two fingers, index and uh, and the thumb, or uh, the middle finger and the thumb, or uh, uh, next to the thyroid. Yeah. So. We gently press up and down, upward and down, and press and rub, like, not press, like, yeah. Lift the head a little bit, gently rub. Up and down. Okay, then we are on the stomach area. So squeeze the muscle. Yeah, anyone can see? Okay. Every time when I do this, I, I have a very good feeling of release and uh, because we store a lot of tension in the stomach area. Yeah. So this it helps us, this movement helps us to release some tension. And also it's good for uh, extra fat tissue around the waist here. Yeah. So we squeeze, like, yeah. Then we do a few circular movements. Relax the area. Okay. Then I should move on uh, with the legs as well now. So. Uh, we can start by, uh, if anyone can do this, yeah? Hello? Yes, yes, everyone can do that, yes. Everybody can do this, is it? Yes. Not, it's not uh, difficult, yeah? No, not at all. Okay. So we start with a few gentle rotations of the ankle, yeah? We hold the, the finger 
just gently and rotate. Uh, 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 ankle one side a few times very gentle yeah people with uh, especially for people with arthritis so yeah the other way a few times okay then we pull the the uh, leg downward, downward, yeah, hold it a little bit, just very gentle, very gently, yeah? then we pull upward, yeah, and we massage the feet a little bit, Uh, it are in Indian uh, culture, uh, in Indian um, practice and theory in the therapy. Eh? Uh, very important, uh, like head as well. So Indian head massage. Yeah? You all know this probably better than me. <laughs> okay, so uh, we can anyone see? Yes, we can see. Yeah, we hold the, the foot like this, one hand on the inward uh, part of the foot and one hand on, on, on the outward and stretch a little bit outside, gently, very, very gently, stretch other side, other way as well, yeah? And then we have, again, reflexology points just below the small toe. It's the shoulder area again. Yeah, there's the, the metatarsian bones. Yeah. And we have the liver just below. Yes. A few times and or press and rotate outwards. Okay. Yeah. Then in the middle, there's a line here, the waistline. Yeah. It's the uh, the kidney again. The kidney. Is the in Chinese uh, uh, in Chinese uh, philosophy is the is the heart of the energetic body. Yeah. So if the kidneys are weak or uh, they suffer from any illnesses, we have. We don't have enough energy, yeah? so we have uh, our energetic body is very affected. So we press in the middle and rotate upward. Okay, and the solar plexus again, just below the this area that in. Can anyone see? It's the same like uh, we did with the hands. Just... Yeah? Yes. Okay, so we press. It's just below the third toe. Yeah? There's a gap. Gap. We get here. Can't feel it. Okay, and so we can a little bit do like this. 
to activate the energy, not to R and R. Then we have the tendon just here. So you don't need to do it like this. I was just showing you yet. So we massage the tendon, yeah? The Achilles tendon, yeah? The Achilles tendon. Sorry, my English is not very... <laughs> I've been just for about three years in London. So we massage the Achilles tendon, yeah? It's the same uh, technique that we did it, we did with the neck, yeah? Like this. The thumb on one side and the index or the medium finger on the other side. Okay, then. Then we massage the calves a little bit with this technique. Gently, yeah. This is a Chinese technique. So I don't know how to explain. So when we did the arm, I don't know if you can see, it's just like this, twisting the muscle a little bit, yeah? Can you see? Can yes. you understand? Yes. Everyone understand? Yeah. Understand? So we, we do, it's a middle line of, of the calves, yes? Yeah? So we press gently and Go upward, gently where we, uh, uh, less pressure when we feel pain. Yeah, there's painful area as we go up to the, uh, the knee, uh, uh, there's the, the gap here, in the knee, yeah? The gap, okay, then we, we do the leg, so we did the calves, yeah? We do the legs with both hands. Just squeeze the muscle a little bit, yeah? The outer part, then the inner part, the muscle a little bit. The inner part here. Yeah? Okay. Then we gently grab like this, up and down, and here first. We move to the other leg, starting with the foot. Okay, let me double check the time. You got ten. 10 minutes. Oh, really? Yes. The time... yes. <laughs> okay, all, all, all it's 10 minutes? My God. It's up to seven o'clock, is it? 10 minutes left. 10 minutes left, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. So if you okay. want to go, are, are you on the key gong? Say again? Are you, have you moved on to the key gong? Not yet, not yet. The so if you go to key gong uh, now, going... Okay, so let's see. Uh, so the, the idea is we do the other side as well, yeah? So yes, we start yes. with the, yeah. the gentle rotation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We repeat on the other leg, yes. Okay, so uh, let's do some Qigong movements. Uh, so I'm gonna sit, everyone can sit on the chair, yeah? With, um, Ideally, uh, with the with the back uh, not uh, with the back straight, but not tense. Yeah, relax, and we don't sit like this. I'm gonna show you. Yeah, we sit in the middle of the chair like this, or at the edge, so we can have more balance. Yeah? Yes. Or at the edge, but comfortable. We need to, to be comfortable. Yeah? So, and the feet has to, uh, needs to touch the ground. 
the feet, yeah? So we are not holding the feet in the air or something, yeah? So we have it, uh, and ideally the, the calf with the tie has to, uh, needs to have a 90 degree angle, yeah? So I don't know, this the angle, 90 degree, yeah? Anyway, okay. So, uh, let's start with a gentle movement, keep both hands in front of each other. Can you see? Yes. Okay, both hands in front of each other. So uh, this is a very easy technique. We spread our arms like this, and then coming back, yeah. In Qigong, uh, the idea is to keep our hands not straight like this and not like this as well. So we need to keep our hands relaxed and in a, the arm and with the forearm they, uh, and with the other hand, it's like making a circle, yeah, or circle like this. This is how the energy flows, yeah? Can you see? Yes. Okay, so let's let's do this, yeah? Uh, so, far in front of each other, not too close, not too far as well. So just here, our shoulder relaxed. As we uh, move outwards, move the hands upwards, we breathe in, yeah, Slow, deep and slow. As we come back, breathe out. The wrist has to be very relaxed, yes, yeah? so we don't hold the hands like this tight and not like this as well, so relax, but in a uh, in, uh, facing each other, yeah? So breathe in and spread on, breathe out and coming back. So if we do this more times, we can feel something between the hands, yeah? The palms, there's an energy. And the wrist, like I said, has to, to be very gentle, like very uh, loose. Yeah. Breathe in. Breathe out. Yeah. Breathe in. Breathe out. In Qigong, we don't hold our breath like in yoga. Yeah. In Qigong, the breath has to be has to uh, be uh, need has to be continuous. Like we breathe in, we stop breathing, and we then breathe out. Yeah. We don't hold the breath. Yeah. yeah. Breathe in to the mouth, to the nose. Breathe out to the mouth. With Yeah. Ideally, the breath has to, uh, so we need to breathe with a belly, with a stomach, not with the chest, yeah? So, because women, uh, naturally, they breathe from the upper chest, yeah? For, for men, it's easier to breathe from the stomach, yeah? That's why uh, women need a little bit exercise to learn the abdominal breath. Okay. Uh, let's do one more exercise. Uh, starting with hands like this, breathing up to the shoulder area or even lower if you have pain when you lift your arm or something. 
you can go just go like this yeah yeah so creating as we leave now yeah. we it in and uh, risk this very the last we bring it out we lower the How everybody is doing? Very well. That was very well. Yeah. It's very, <laughs> very, very, very good very to simple. watch and do it. Yes. This is a very, very simple technique. So we are not very going very to simple, do it yes. complicated. We are not doing uh, putting uh, one leg behind the head or no, something, no, no. Like something like, you know? You can try okay. that. <laughs> <laughs> so, one more time. Yeah? And let me check the time. Time is four, five, four minutes. Okay. Let's do one more and then we can share a few things, yeah? Yes. Okay, let's do one more, yeah? So, arms, we keep the palms uh, on our thighs, yeah? With uh, facing up and we gently Breathe in. Well, this movement, I need to come here. Breathe in. So the arms are not straight. The, uh, hand, the arms are not straight. They are a little bit bent like this. Yeah? So breathe in. And when you come here, arms are like this. And we don't, the fingers are not touching each other. Yeah, then breathe out. Breathe in. Remember not to hold the, the breath, yeah? It has to be a uh, flow. So this is the main um, uh, breathe in. The main goal of Qigong to allow the energy to flow. So we unblock, we release the blockages and the energy will flow, yeah? I don't know if you can see the whole movement. I'm then I'm arching my back a little bit just for you to see. <laughs> Ideally, we should sit straight like this, but further relax, yeah? Okay, let's uh, time flies. <laughs> uh, I was gonna do one more thing, uh, but yeah, there's not enough time. So uh, yeah, I I wanted to show you more things, but definitely. Uh, I need a structure, a better structure, I think, to show you more things. Like two, three things uh, would be enough for one session. Two, three things, uh, two, three self-massage techniques, two, three qigong, and two, three martial arts. So let's, do we still have time? We can take another uh, next week, another session, and uh, you can do two weeks, uh, Adi. Okay, okay. Yeah, so okay, this is the uh, introduction, but the next week we can continue with uh, your structured way. Um, okay. If that's yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, and just a quick question. Um, so it is important to do the self massage before we do the Ching Kong or any physical movement, if I'm understanding right. So uh, the yeah the, the the whole idea is to uh, warm the body as much as possible before doing some movements like yeah when you lift your shoulder like this your arm you might feel a little bit uncomfortable um, in the shoulder yeah so as you massage before yeah 
you allow the blood and the energy to, to flow a little bit when you massage the shoulder before, yeah? So massage is good uh, before and after as well, doesn't matter. <laughs> um, otherwise, I should have shown you some uh, warm up for Qigong as well, like uh, warming up the shoulders with circular movements, uh, rotating the waist, uh, the body like this. But that's why self massage little bit before, it's meant to work the body a little bit, yeah? Then we can uh, do those more things, like movements, more ample, like, uh, yeah, I hope my answer helped. Yes. Thank you. Thanks very much, very much. So um, before we all go, um, so we are taking the correct notes back and we'll have your recordings to share with everybody so they can go back and do the same. But thank you very much, Adi. And we look forward to see you next week, Thursday, thank same you. time. Thank you as well. Uh, yeah, thank you as well. Thank you so much as well. Uh, yeah, if, uh, if there are any other questions, like, I don't know. How everybody felt like this is my, very good, very good. We enjoyed it. If you Thank feel you. something, you might feel uh, if you never did this, for example, you need a few sessions to start to feel something more, uh, like more benefits in the body. Yeah? Yeah. But the more you do, this is the, the problem. For pain, for, uh, for pain, uh, Qigong and massage is good to do. Uh, every day, but just very gentle, not, especially Qigong is good to, is ideally it's best to do in the morning, at the sunrise, and if possible, one more time in the evening at the sunset, yeah? Massage is good every time, or all the morning, afternoon, evening, doesn't matter. The more you do, the the better for the body, but we don't have enough time to do in the morning, the evening. So it's good to just uh, ideally to do it every day, at least one time, if we can. Yeah. Thank for you. the best results. Thank you. Yeah. That's wonderful. Thank you, Adi. Thank you very much. I think with you, another two weeks, we'll learn to have a good 15 minute session every day morning and evening by the time we'll be ready to do that on our own even five minutes do it uh, if, if we do every day is, is very good yeah it's very good every day it's much yeah. better to do five minutes every day than to do uh, one hour a few times a month for example or a year even a year yeah it's much yeah. better no, you're right. Pain management is every day. <laughs> Thank you very yeah. much again. And Thank we look forward to seeing you, you next week, well. same and, time. Uh, Thank you, Ade. Take Bye. care, everyone. Yeah? Take care.